What's up, guys? Welcome to TMG Podcast. This is actually last week's episode. If you want today's episode, uh, that'll be on our Patreon right now. Uh, you can get it a week early if you contribute. It's patreon.com slash tinymeatgang. Um, so thanks if you do that. And if not, enjoy this one. Peace. Well, you wouldn't believe it, Chuck. He, he just came right in there and he came in my ass. It sure has been a great, marvelous, memorable evening in come in my ass history, Joe. Absolutely. We it haven't seen been. come in my ass like this since 83. Mine is filled to the brim. In, un, just <laughs> incredible. Any more come in there. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. You would have thought a second winter storm came through if you look at my asshole. My God, there's just so much come in there. Yeah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, if you're looking to fill your own asses with cum at home, uh, you can do that by dialing into our hotline, one eight 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 cum in ass my ass. <laughs> Get a hot load of cum delivered right to your door, and you can just stuff it right on in there. You know, it's instant. It's instant. That's the power of technology these days. You can get cum delivered right to your door. You can put it right in your ass. It's amazing. It really is. <laughs> And now with our monthly subscription, <laughs> you can have come in your ass really at any time, you, at, at just on a regular basis. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's like the milkman, except crates full of cum. There you go. Um, this, <laughs> this episode sponsored by cum in my ass. Thank God for cum in my ass. I've, I've been waiting because, you know, I can't use that one on Twitch. And it, well, why? Because you get, gets you banned or whatever? Yeah. It what, gets are the, you banned. what are the rules on Twitch? First of all. I just want to say uh, a big apology to the people on Patreon that this episode is late. Yeah, um, we're doing two this week. I was stricken mm-hmm. with the flu uh, late last week. This is this was on what Thursday? Was yeah, it? yeah. No, Wednesday. It was Wednesday. No, it might have been Tuesday. Wednesday, Wednesday. Tuesday, you felt like shit. Tuesday, I started feeling it. It was at our Columbus show, mm-hmm. and then in Cleveland, you- Cleveland is when it fucking hit me. And I started getting a fever and feeling shitty, but like I was able to like pull it together for the show, and I felt like kind of fine, just kind of sweating on stage a little bit. That's and a little. Then afterwards, yeah, I just fucking Pittsburgh. Dude, no, you looked like you looked terrible. Woke up the next morning, I was like, I couldn't even like talk. Yeah, and it, I just felt dizzy and like so out of it and yeah. achy. My body, fuck. I mean, you guys know what it feels like to have a fucking fever. It's awful. Yeah, and I just felt like fucking garbage. And then, um. Was it that day that I went to the doctor? Yeah, so, yeah, you went to the urgent care in Pittsburgh, and that motherfucker was like, you are sick as shit, so. So he, like, put the thing on my, I was like, he's like, what, what's wrong? And I was like, I don't know, I think I have the flu. Because when you say that, doctors are just like, yeah, you don't have the flu. Like, you'd probably just have a fever, and uh, you're just saying that. And so he's like, okay, we'll do a flu test, whatever, and we'll give your chest an x-ray, blah, blah, blah. So this girl comes in, flu test, they, it's like a fucking thing this big, they jam it up your nose into your brain. <laughs> She touched my brain, full on. She was, oh, that's it, your brain. And I it, said, <laughs> and I said, it's all right. It's already damaged. Was it a Q-tip or what was it? No, it's like a long ass hard thing. I don't. <laughs> it's a long hard thing, dude. Yeah, stiff. It's got, like it's like a veiny thing that she jams on your nose. <laughs> no, it's like um. Yeah, you like that long hard cock. <laughs> It looks like, um, you know, I don't know how to explain it, but it's a little stick that she throws up. And she holds your head because she's like, your Damn. reflex is to, is to move your head back, so I have to hold your head. Oh, and then so she jams it into your brain. And so keeps hitting your brain. And, you know, you're feeling it hit your frontal <laughs> lobe, right, which is like your language center or something. So I just start saying <laughs> words, you know. It's like okay, a, they, they. when they hit your knee, yeah. it's a reflex. Yeah. So they jam my brain, and I just, you know, I just say fucking, you know. Penis. Um, penis. Penis. Bowling, bowling, yeah, you know, <laughs> it's gonna bocce ball. She, your nose gucked that thing, dude. <laughs> she like held your head down. That was like some porn shit. <laughs> she starts going, yeah, your no- <laughs> <laughs> pushing my head into it. <laughs> your nose is just like foaming. You're like ah ah ah, and she's like, yeah, you're you daddy's little <laughs> slut. And then as she's hitting the frontal lobe, you can't stop yourself. You're like, yes, 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 yes. yes. January, forty five. Started. 72. Yeah, just like so much Shabby. damage. I just start to. Baby. <laughs> 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 and then so she she finishes. She takes it out. And uh, she's like, okay, it usually takes about 10 minutes. And I'm not kidding. In like 30 seconds, the doctor came back in with a face mask on. He goes, yeah, you have the flu. He's like, this usually comes back in 10 minutes. Your skin came back right away. Said positive. Whoa. Like resoundingly positive. And uh, he's like, you definitely have the flu. You shouldn't be around anybody. And I was like, well, I'm supposed to meet 100 people in 
15 minutes. And he was like, yeah, you shouldn't do that at all unless, like, you're super fucking contagious. And you will be for the next, like, two days. And so I uh, told Matt, this is like people are lining up to, to meet us. Yeah. Already, Noel's there, and yeah. I'm at the doctor's office. He's like, you can't meet these people. <laughs> and so basically what happens is we ended up canceling. We had to do a double show that night. Yeah. We and so we ended up canceling the late one. Mm -hmm. We canceled the day after in New Jersey. Yep. And then well, I just Well, not canceled. Uh, they're rescheduled. Rescheduled. Sorry, rescheduled. And um, and then he's like, you, you got like people are already here, so we just have to do the first Philly show. Mm -hmm. So I was like, all right. So we I came I mean, back. I'm no, like, Pitt, Pitt. Pittsburgh, sorry. Yeah. Come back. I'm hallucinating. <laughs> Yeah. Get up on stage. <laughs> There's a picture of me from this show from the side. You look like ass. I'm like just like staring like a like kind of like a blank dead stare off into this into space. And I'm sitting down and there's like an inch of sweat on my face. You look like I kept looking at you and you uh, it looked like someone took like like frozen food out of the fucking freezer and just like left it out. Like just there's just beads like on your <laughs> like face and upper lip. Cody doesn't even have a mustache, and he was developing like little pockets of sweat out there. I'm like, we got to get this fool off stage. We did the show, and it was fun. The audience was fucking great. Oh, yes. They were totally understanding. Shout out to everybody in Pittsburgh, and you know what? A special shout out to Cleveland. Those two venues were hot. Those venues were brutal. Yeah. And uh, we, I will give you guys major props for just being dialed in, and like just taking the show for exactly what it was supposed to be, and having a good time. So we, we almost just you. we almost just said fuck comedy and just did like a hot yoga set yeah because it was so hot in there we were almost no. just like fuck it let's just let's just get namaste with it and kind of <laughs> do some child's poses and we pitched that to the audience they weren't really feeling it yeah. so no cody actually looked bad enough that i was like maybe we just do a podcast like yeah. maybe you just don't have, don't think for an hour and i was like no that sounds way harder that's way more thinking it was yeah it, it would have been for sure coming up with like an original thing to say after every single thing you say yeah at least with the show we've done it so many times it's just like in there yeah it's just in there and it's just in there you know no I just no no I my mean, brain and it comes out i mean it's like uh it's a uh, i don't know i was thinking i was talking with tom our stage manager and it's just like we just kept saying like it's crazy that we're touring in like the hardest winter like ever oh yeah like to date yeah and i know our agents did not plan, plan for that. Like, they weren't like, well, we should send them to the polar vortex. Like, we went through that bitch. It was, cr it was just, I don't know, it's cool. Yeah. And for our stage manager to say that this is the toughest tour he's ever been on. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, and, and then we had to leave Cody in Pittsburgh for yeah, two so days. Yeah, so then they fucking left. And I just sat in my Holiday Inn Express room in Pittsburgh for two days with, like, the worst flu of my whole fucking life. That was... I think, honestly, probably the worst I've ever felt in my whole life. Yeah. I was sitting in bed. I couldn't move. Just, it was just awful, dude. It was I, it was really bad. I watched so much Netflix. Yeah. I mean, you came back with, like, dude, I've watched, <laughs> I watched they crush so much media. The Avicii documentary. Yeah, I heard it's really good. It's so good. I had no idea. <laughs> Alina, and, like, Alina tried to get me to watch it before tour, but I was like, I don't know. I thought it was going to make me sad, so I, was, I said I'll watch it after. It's, it's. It, I mean, it's definitely sad. It's a sad story, but it's also like, it's just remembering how much of an impact he had on my life. Sure. You know, fucking white college kid. Yeah, yeah. In 2010. Yeah. Like, he uh, like defined my life. <laughs> Avicii was the sh levels. I was the kid front row at Ultra going, da -da 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 da 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 That's great. You know what's wild that I think about is like, I've, I don't think I've ever been to like a rave or anything like a festival like that. I've really? I've never been to one of those. I've always been <laughs> too broke. I like only had reasonable income in the last few years. And it's just like, it can't. You can go to Coachella. I mean, yeah, yeah, sure. But I, I can't be at like ultra. <laughs> Dude, like you, almost 30. Just like, yeah. yeah ultra, definitely not. <laughs> definitely not. You can't go there if you're over 23. Well, you can, but you have to be. Hispanic and like jacked beyond belief. <laughs> is that what it is? Just ripped ass Mexican dudes? Yeah. Yeah. You know, huge ripped Miami dudes. Really? Yeah. Oh, dang. And they're like girlfriends that are like half their size. Word. And they weigh like 80 pounds and they're wearing the fucking and you're nothing. Just, you're just looking at them like, how does it get in there? <laughs> how does that, how does it get in there? I'm trying to smoosh them together in my head. It's not, it's like, yeah. It's like putting a toothpick in a potato. What's, <laughs> how does it work, dude? That doesn't make any sense. Oh, just like, that would be he, the opposite. He's like that's a really easy thing to do. No, if he's like standing vertical and then like she's laying down. That's, I just imagine 
Okay. I'm just thinking about the mass. Okay, Sorry. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. That was bad. No, she's going inside him. Yeah. He puts her whole body in his ass. Yeah, that's what it is. Because <laughs> <laughs> he's too big to have sex with her. <laughs> so he goes crawling in my ass. Come in my ass. Come in my ass. <laughs> <laughs> so there's this thing. It's going around. It's called cum, and it goes in your ass. Into it. Wild. <coughs> anyway. So I'm putting my, this cum in my ass. Come in my ass dot io. <laughs> Yo. A meetup website for <laughs> This is this is our new uh porn moan. What? Just the come in my ass. Yeah. Ad, yeah, ad yeah, read. yeah. <laughs> or if fucking someone DM me yesterday and she was like, you know, I've been listening to podcasts or and I and I hear all these stories about people getting <laughs> caught with the porn noises and I said, nah, never gonna be me. So anyway, I opened up my computer in my like science class today. You know, first period. Okay. And she, right when she opens it, it's just us going like, uh, uh, <laughs> oh, uh. stop, stop, stop. <laughs> Said we were done with that shit. <laughs> did we talk about the, no, we did. Come in my ass? The come in my ass. Oh, yeah. I meant the vicious squirter, but we did. Did we talk about yeah, that? We, yeah, okay. yeah, we did. We did. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> we just, we just sound like, Duck horns. <laughs> Dude. Um, I'm just happy I'm feeling better, man. Yeah, no. I'm, I'm happy. It's like amazing. It, once it starts turning. Yeah. You know, it was like some Advil or something that I took. Broke my fever a little bit. Started turning. My energy started started getting better. And then I started feeling like enthusiasm again. Yeah. Emotion I just haven't felt in three days. Yeah. Optimism. <laughs> don't know what that felt like anymore. I was like, everything sucks. Life's just always going to be shitty. I'm going to die I'm here. I'm going to die here in, <laughs> in Pittsburgh in a Holiday Inn Express. Oh, man. And dude, by the time I left that fucking room, that shit, lo- that shit looked like a crack den, seriously. Oh, I believe it. There's, f- I had like three servings of pho. <laughs> there's wings. There's like, because disgu- like, no matter how sick I am, even if I'm puking, vomiting, You're gonna nothing eat- fucks up my appetite. That's how much I like food. So you're just going to body whatever? Yeah, so I'm like, it's my, oh, only, that's- it's my only vice at that point. It's like, Good food. Oh, that's brutal. So I'm watching hours of hot ones. I'm like, I gotta oh. get wings. Well, we still good? Okay, we're good. Yeah. Um so and you, so a couple times I had the same wait. a couple times I had yeah. the same Uber Eats driver. <laughs> <laughs> you just became your friend. <laughs> yeah. I know he like got that order. He's like, fucking God, what? what the fuck is this guy's problem? Four oh five again? <laughs> All right. From the fucking uh. oh my god, it's like an even worse place. Did he ever say anything? Or was he like, you all right, man? No, he just kind of like gave me like a weird sort of smile. And I'm like, yeah, what do you want, want me to do? I don't know what to tell you. I'm a piece of shit. <laughs> Bro, you know, that's so funny because when I'm sick, like I go into fucking nerd mode. <coughs> what do you like, mean? Okay, slim down the diet, only eat the essentials. Like I'm like, I'm very much like, I just will not get sick. I refuse to get sick. And so like, so I do everything in my power not to get sick. But I, what I always run into is after like eating just fucking crackers and soup for like two days. I still might feel like shit, but I'm like, I gotta do it. And I'll just go for like wings or something like that. Yeah. And but once you're already sick, it doesn't matter what you're eating, I don't think. Just drinking fluids and like getting some stuff in your body. Yeah. So that I can use it. Yeah. Well I mean like if you're like shitting and you can't keep stuff down. <laughs> it's just like oh it's like so risky. I know, I know dude. I was eating this pho. I drink the broth and then I would just sh- shit the broth out. Like as I'm drinking it. <laughs> just like squeezing a mop. <laughs> yeah, that's good. That's really it's good. It's going in and just pouring out of my ass. It's not even <laughs> like there's no filter between. This is a vile episode, man. <laughs> this episode is vulgar as hell. Yo, to that point, dude, I'm not gonna put them on blast, but what we've I found out one of our boys did not eat pussy until a few years ago and okay. he's a grown man. Yeah. Grown grown man. I, I could, just don't get why. I mean I guess like it's a little <laughs> bit scary. Yeah, doing it right. Yeah, you're just like yeah, trying in general. Like it's embarrassing if you fuck it up. It's like whatever, but everyone goes through that phase when they're like first losing their virginity and stuff yeah. like that, right? You're just like, oh okay, well, let's try it. I think you've never you done just, it. I've never I think you just got to act like a dumb dog about it, and it's cute. Yeah. You're like, look, I've never done it. And, like, you do it for a little bit. You're like, is that good? And you give her the puppy eyes, and she's like, oh, my God. No, do, like, this more. And then, like, but there's a small window for that until it's annoying. Yeah. So, but you have to 
you got to be a puppy about it, I think. And then, you know, it's okay. And then, like, yeah, I guess, like, once you reach a certain age, it's like, well, now nah, I've never done it. I'm never going to do it because yeah. I'm too old to, like, try for the first time. <laughs> it's like going to Ultra. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. You can't start eating pussy at 30. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you can't go to a rave at 30 <laughs> oh my god just a grown ass man she's like now it's my turn it's like hey listen sorry uh, <laughs> I have never and we're not gonna start tonight yeah. he's so. like well I mean like you could you, it's fine you can try it on me nah can I'm too old I'm sorry <laughs> yeah. it's like a rule <laughs> you can't eat pussy for the first time after 30 <laughs> plus my neck you know the nerve is pinched I'm like <laughs> If I go down there, it's going to, you know what I'm saying? It's just, I can't. I wish I could. I, re- I want to. I just can't. Sorry. It's a rule. But whose rule? The rule. Just try it. You know how, what age can't you go? You can't go to a rave for the first time when you're what? 30, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. How, what, what, where'd you get that rule? All right, just give me my vibrator. <laughs> <Boom>. <laughs> it was not the same at all, dude. I was thinking, I mean. 30 years old. I've never gone to a rave. I've never eaten pussy. I want to eat pussy at a rave. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be the next, like, Seth Rogen movie. Yeah. Eating pussy at a rave? It's going to be like, that'll be like the next Pineapple Express. <laughs> Sorry, what were you saying? No, nothing. Just, um, it got me thinking about The Bachelor. I mean, I said this tonight, but I had the thought before we walked on stage, but I'm like, all right, this one's a virgin. The next one is never eating pussy. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> What's up, Bachelor Nation? You're not going to want to miss the most dramatic season of The Bachelor yet. He's never eaten pussy. He's never eaten pussy? Never. That's right. <laughs> Our handsome bachelor, has, Chevin, <laughs> has never <laughs> has never eaten pussy. It's so funny on like, American television. Like, everything's censored, but, yeah. like, Eating pussy for some reason isn't yeah. explicit. <laughs> boop, 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 boop. Eating pussy. Eating. He's never even eaten the shit out of a <laughs> pussy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! He's just going around. And then like, there's always the one bad girl. I'm gonna make him eat my <laughs> pussy. <laughs> oh, that's so rapey. <laughs> I'm gonna make him eat my pussy. Chevin's going to eat my pussy whether he likes it or not. Oh, my God. It's, it's, I don't care about his little bitch feelings. I'm making him eat my <laughs> pussy. I'm a bad girl. Ooh. And then it cuts to Chevin. She really wants me to eat her pussy, <laughs> but I'm really scared. Dude, the girl in the sloth suit. Oh. <laughs> He's going to eat my sloth pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Comes out all slow and just kills the character with that. He's like, oh. Like. Chevin, eat my cunt. Oh, God. What the? What the? What is wrong with you? What is wrong Chevin. with you? Chevin. Chevin is such a good bachelor, man. man. <laughs> By the way, we fucking predicted it with that girl. She got voted off like yeah. first. Yeah. We didn't, I, we didn't, I didn't even finish the episode. It was so long and yeah. so annoying. Eat my sloth pussy. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. Oh, my God. That's I'm really just, funny. I'm just pulling up. I think we got to do a little um, read today. Yeah, we do. Okay, word. Yeah. Anyway, um, Patreoners, you don't have to deal with that. Don't even worry about it. You guys don't want to sweat yeah. you. Don't let it. Don't let us sweat you. Don't let us sweat you. You're getting two ad-free episodes this week. Mm-hmm. Um, We're working double time this week. Hell yeah, we are. Now that I'm fucking back on the grid, mm-hmm. I'm... I'm, you know, motivated again. Mm-hmm. I'm started editing this new video. I'm gonna post that by Friday. We're gonna get two podcast episodes done. Did you did you shoot one? Yeah, I shot one in the hotel in Columbus. Columbus? Were we in a hotel? Yeah. How the fuck do we stay in Columbus? I don't know, but Kelsey and I it, were in the hotel alone. We shot a video. How the fuck? No, that wasn't the YouTube video. We should, that was a different. Oh, oh, we're oh, <laughs> cool, cool, dude. Oh, you had sex. <laughs> Oh, you had sex. Yeah, so what? Wow, this guy likes sex. You hear that, guys? Might have eaten some pussy, too. No, I didn't. <laughs> Definitely didn't. It's too late didn't. for that. <laughs> too can't, late for start, that. can't start that shit. Can't start eating pussy at 30. That's so funny, dude. That's going to be some TLC shit. Yeah. So we're 45, and Chevin's never <laughs> gone down on me, and I'm just hoping that... That's going to be the next uh, wave of the biggest loser. Instead yeah. of losing weight, it's just eating pussy. Yeah, okay. Like Six that. grown men. 
I'm here to learn how to eat pussy. Yeah. They think it's yucky. They mm-hmm. use that word. The biggest pussy? Yeah, the biggest pussy. Mm-hmm. Biggest p- poser, biggest. The biggest. No, we'll go with the biggest pussy. Yeah, the biggest pussy, okay. Because he's a big pussy that he won't eat. Yeah. <laughs> this is a graphic episode, man. 21 Savage. That shit's crazy. Wait, dude, I'm still bugged out on this Columbus thing. What do, we didn't have a hotel in Columbus. We were there because I we said in the video we're in Columbus, Ohio. Where the fuck? Oh, yeah. We no no no. That's yeah yeah no no no. I know where we were at, and we were next to that arcade and all that shit. Yeah 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 yeah. yeah I yes. You yeah. idiot. You fucking idiot. Sorry, dude. duh. I'm sorry. I streamed that day. Mm-hmm. There you go. Yeah, dude. Oh, that was a, the worst stream I've ever done. Why? It was like uh. Um, the internet was so slow that um, it couldn't like it couldn't process audio and video fast enough at the same time. <laughs> okay. And then I was using my audio interface, and for some reason, like the OBS for Mac just kept crashing. So I had to go to just my webcam on my laptop <laughs> and my webcam mic. <laughs> Sixteen hundred people tuned in for that. It was just like a big ass like conference a, call. Like a college kid like FaceTiming his parents. Yeah, that's. Hey, what's up, you guys? How's it? Can you guys see me? Everything? No? <laughs> so then I'm... Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, like... Yeah, yeah. Or just like the front half of my forehead <laughs> just like turned square. <laughs> Yo, are you good? <laughs> yeah, man. Um, yeah. And then uh, maybe, you know, maybe we hit a little react or something like that in the mix. In these last this few week? weeks on tour. Who knows? Next man. week. Let's do it. Yeah. yeah we're next feeling, week. We're yeah. feeling crazy. Yeah. Um, I will we'll talk about 21 in a second, but I do want to say it's only three, <laughs> three weeks left in the tour. I'm kind of sad. Yeah, I know. It's crazy. It's only two, two, me- two more weeks on the bus, too, which is kind of sad because mm-hmm. we're, you know, the last one is in LA or whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, no, we're in Phoenix for part of that week. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's like two and a half. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sad, <clears throat> man. It's, but I mean, you know, we're back out, um, late March to April. Mm-hmm. We're back with the boys. Big shout out to our tour crew, mm-hmm. uh, Matt and Tom, they are the fucking, I love these guys. They're the man. best, dude. They're the fucking they best. Seriously, they are. really are. We're just so fortunate. We got the coolest dudes, the coolest people, yeah. our coolest, hardest working guys. Mm-hmm. So dope. Shout out to our boy, Edin, our mm-hmm. photographer. Mm-hmm. Yes, dude, did we talk about this guy? We did not talk about how sexy he this is. This motherfucker gets more play <laughs> than anyone I've oh, ever seen. No, 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 I'm not putting him on blast. <laughs> I'm not putting him on blast. I'm, t- I'm talking about the shows. I'm talking yeah. about how. At every single show now, yeah, there's some a- girl in the crowd will be like, "Can you say hi to your photographer?" Like during the Q and A part, and it's like, "How? Yeah, how? Are, this is our show, and you're still pulling more." Yeah. yeah, he just walks by. He just walks by. All he does walk by in the back, in the shadows, even. Yeah, and they see the just the is the, the Israeli Israeli pretty boy fucking face, just barely yeah. in the shadows, and they, oh my god, who's that? I need that. I need who was that? Just compels them to scream in the middle of the show. Hello? Yeah. Who are you? Who are you? Man of mystery in the shadows. Yo, what the fuck, bitch? It's our show. Yeah, fucking <laughs> listen to us. <laughs> no, bring him on stage, please. Swear to God, he's a fucking beast. Yeah. He's he's also <clears throat> I love him because he's so honest and innocent. Mm-hmm. He's like not American in that way. Mm-hmm. Like when I talk to him, I realize like I, when people impersonate Americans, Americans are loud. They're sarcastic. I hate to, you know, you kind of get what yeah, I'm going yeah, for. Yeah, yeah. The American voices are always like, ah, oh, yeah, yeah, with the fucking Home Depot and, and my uh-huh, wife. Uh-huh. He's <laughs> he's just not like that at all. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I agree. There's just this level of innocence. Mm-hmm. It's probably a language barrier thing, but no, he's he's getting good, man. He was he was like worried at the start of the tour. He's like, my English is bad. I'm like. Fine. <laughs> no, he's fine. I'm just saying, like, oh no, maybe he's just like a total sick fuck. We just don't really know because he doesn't know how to like express it in English. <laughs> it just comes out one day. I fuck everybody. Yeah, yeah. Well, what? <laughs> like tonight? She gave me Blumkin, man. <laughs> it's crazy. Suck my dick on the toilet. Take shit same time. And she sucked the shit. It's crazy. Don't impersonate him too much. We got people trying to figure out his at right now. They're like, oh, my God. This <laughs> Say no more. I'll give you a Blumkin. I'll give you a Blumkin, please. <laughs> um, <yeah. coughs> 
<laughs> we're both fucked up, man. Now you got this lingering cough. Why are coughs just they just last? Because it's like a, three weeks. It's just like a fucking shitty relative that just stays around for too long. You know, dude. It's just like it. Just it's just like that itch in your throat. It's just fucking bullshit. Anyway, twenty one savage. <laughs> yeah, that shit's crazy. <coughs> Dying. Yeah, twenty one savage, dude. Wow. I know. What the fuck? And like you were saying earlier, dude, he's, yeah, he's probably going to be barred for like a long ass time. I mean, for life. You don't get like, they just, they're not like, they're not like, I don't know. They're not, it, it, it's not hard to get banned from a country for life. Yeah, that's true, actually. Like if you go into the States or even Canada and you, and you work mm-hmm. like even once and they catch you, like even the thing that Tom was talking about, our, oh yeah, our, our stage manager like tried to cross the border with a bunch of guitars. And he was like just going to visit some friends or something, and they were like suspicious about the guitars. Oh no, no, no! Because he had um he had mixtapes in the back, yeah, or like something demo like discs. So okay, they were yeah, like, yeah. they were like, oh no, no, I think it was the guitars. It was it was either they saw the guitar and they thought he was going to play shows, yeah, and he's like, I'm just going to hang out. That's what it was. Yeah, they were like, you're gonna yeah. you're gonna play shows. So they thought he was going to work, playing playing a show was working, right? So he they didn't let him in, and so he drove to another border entry. And try to get in there. And if they catch you for that, that's like 10-year barred from the country. Yeah. And they'll just do that. They don't give a fuck. Mm-hmm. They'll just do it. They'll be like, okay, sorry. Now you just can't come into the States for 10 years. Mm-hmm. Or into Canada. So for 21 Savage to get like caught yeah. after how however long it's been, like six oh, years yeah, or whatever. Yeah. He's, he's done. With an expired visa. They're going to send him back and he's done. And he's been doing shows the whole time. What I you, just get, you just get banned for life. But what I'm wondering country. is, what happens to his money? Does he get his money? Yeah, I don't. I mean, maybe I'm. I'm assuming some of it's <laughs> offshore. I don't know. Actually, it's a good question. Definitely, if he's technically here illegally. Like, do they seize his shit? It's like, oh, it's assets. It's ours now. No, I don't think so. I don't know. I don't know. For me, man, it's fucked up. It's like, dude. But like, why? What? What's there to punish him for? He's been fueling the fucking economy for <laughs> pouring money into fucking jewelry and yeah. cars and how ha- and the houses <laughs> house market. He also does a lot of good shit for the community. So no, but like the government doesn't give a shit about that. Yeah, I know. But I'm just saying, like, if if you're making the case for him, it's like besides like buying expensive shit, he also like is a contributing citizen, like in that capacity too. Yeah, yeah. No, I I definitely agree with that. I just think like. As far as he's a fucking immigrant, get him out is concerned. So he's stupid. also been, he's also rich as fuck and has been contributing to the economy for f- six years more than plenty of other people have. Mm-hmm. Crazy. Wait, you might hand me a water. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dude, for sure. Can you grab me a water, dude? Um, the air is dry as fuck out here everywhere. But shout out to the DMV, <laughs> man. This is the first time we've seen sun and it's fucking amazing. Yeah, shout out to the Department of Motor Vehicles, you guys. Good ass spot, man. So I'm gonna go there and just hang because it's just like I like the vibes. Uh, DC, Maryland, Virginia, what's up? Listen, guys, we're gonna take a quick break and oh, we're gonna be we know, right back. We, okay, we're, not we're gonna, gonna take a quick break. Right on the button. Yep. We're gonna, wow. We're gonna be right back. All right, right? guys, we're gonna take a quick break. Guys, I'd like to thank Stitch Fix for uh, sponsoring this episode of the podcast. Stitch Fix is an online personal styling service that finds and delivers clothes, shoes, and accessories to fit your body budget and lifestyle wow yeah which is great even weird shaped bodies like yours um okay just go to stitchfix.com slash tmg and tell them your sizes what styles you like and how much you want to spend on each item yeah you'll be paired with your very own personal stylist who will handpick five items to send right to your door uh then you try them on pay only for what you love and return the rest shipping exchanges and returns are always free baby that's zero dollars yeah so if you got a weird donut body like uh cody donut body yeah what is a donut body? You just, oh, oh, like it, <laughs> like my like body by donuts. Yeah, body okay, by okay. Donut. I think yeah. I mean like my body resembled a donut. I was like, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> Look, what are you donut looking ass? You got a hole in the <laughs> middle, a hole in your looking stomach. ass. Uh, there's no subscription required. You can sign up to receive scheduled shipments or get your fix whenever you want. Okay, Stitch Fix's styling fee is only twenty bucks, which is applied towards anything you keep from your shipment. So what are you waiting for? Get started now at stitchfix.com slash TMG, and you'll get an extra 25% off when you keep all five items in your box. Bam. That's stitchfix.com slash TMG to get started today. Stitchfix.com slash TMG. And we're back. And we're back. What's up, everyone? 
Um, yeah, I, I wonder if he gets his assets frozen, dude. That would, that would suck, man. I don't know. That'd be some fucking trash, dude. I mean, I think you should just buy a dope, dope pad in London and just be a <laughs> British rapper now. I or mean, be an American rapper in, in Britain that can never come to America. I mean, that just, I feel like that makes his marketing so cool. Yeah, I know. I feel like he'll be able to sell mad tickets just on that premise. Like, yeah. yo, this dude is banned from America. This whole thing is pretty fucking, like, I mean, it's <clears throat> it's not cool, but it's like, it's not no. going to hurt him, I don't think. No. It, well, it, I mean, like, it definitely hurts him that he can't do shows in the state. That's like money lost, yeah. 100%, 100%. Yeah. I mean, who knows? Maybe it'll all work out for him, but probably not because no, no matter who you are, this shit, this doesn't, you no. can't just like go Ice to a is, country, Ice let your visa uh, expire and get famous. And, not going to give a fuck about you. Yeah. 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 I don't know, man. It's, it's, it fucking sucks for him though. It really does, man. And it's crazy. I know people are going to try to do that shit where they're like, oh, there's other people that detained by ICE, but you only care because it's 21 Savage. Da, 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 da. I'm like, if it takes 21 Savage to like get people to give a shit, then yeah, let the story ride, man. Like yeah. that, that, that six year old girl that died in ICE contain, like, when was that? Uh, like at least a month ago. What happened? It was a young girl and she was detained by ICE and she fucking died in like the. Ugh. That's fucking makes me sick. Yeah. It's fucked just up. Just because what? They keep them in. Shitty yeah. cells and stuff just like that. Didn't yeah, just didn't care. Why don't they just send them? Or I don't even know. Makes no fucking sense. I mean, yeah. I guess I don't know. It's like I don't know. <clears throat> I mean, and obviously I'm not speaking with all the details here, but I, dude, if it's like children, come on, man. Yeah, I there know. should be some special care. Oh like, yeah, definitely. Even if they're from another country, children are completely innocent of like, you know, I mean, this might be too blanket of a statement, but I, children are pretty innocent of like politics and shit. Yeah, like yeah, they're just kids. Jesus. Yeah, it's, I don't know, man. It's fucking anyway. I hope I really hope it works out for the boy because ice is not a you know they're not nice to everybody. Mm-hmm. Ice is not nice. Mm, nice. <coughs> <coughs> Anyways, uh, this spo- this episode is sponsored by Cum in My. <laughs> How do you just pivot off a hip? What else happened, man? I feel like there's been a ton of shit that's happened. Um. Oh, oh, let's talk about that one. The fucking okay, that one show we did in um. The first day I got sick, the the shitty show, the shitty venue, shitty venue, where the guy kept talking during our set. Oh no no no! Guy. That's the that's the sec- that was Cleveland. Cleveland, okay, yeah, Cleveland, Cleveland. I I kind of went in a little bit on my last stream, not really. Okay, actually, I didn't at all. Um, okay, so this this yeah, the, I mean the venue was like I don't know whatever. I mean I don't know. As a I mean, dude, it's. It's pretty bad. It was a busted ass venue, yeah. dude. It's pretty fucking bad, and uh, like there, there's no, there's just like no bathroom in the green room. Yeah, no. Like the bathroom is shared with mm-hmm. the with the, with the public, which I guess like doesn't. I don't know. It's weird. Like you, you don't like go take a shit next to someone right before your show, and they're yeah. like, "Oh my god, you're gonna," and you're like, "Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, I have going diarrhea." Up in a second, I have Thank diarrhea. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it, there was that. I mean, just the venue. All it wasn't in a good area. That's for sure. Aren't you about to perform? What are you doing? I'm getting all the cum out of my ass. <laughs> Got all this freaking cum in my ass. What am I going to do with it? How did this all even get in there? How did all this cum get in my ass? Tell me. Jesus. <laughs> it's pouring out. Uh, somebody get another roll in here? I just got to <laughs> get it all out of my ass. Cum in my, my ass. ass as a friend <laughs> as I want you <laughs> cum in my ass. Ooh, that hurt. Yeah, you gotta be careful. Yeah, that one. I hit. Uh, can't do that note. There's cum in my ass, <laughs> and I'm cleaning all the cum <laughs> out. Oh, sorry. People in the venue are like, "What the fuck is going on there?" There's cum all over my ass, <laughs> and I've got this cum, cum. in my ass. <laughs> no, okay, so we're at, we're doing a show at this venue. Okay, Clearly. right away, like. Right away, the the sound guy, acting a little bit funky right off the bat. Oh, dude, he he looks like a like a washed up boat mechanic. Like mm-hmm. he just does not good, man. Old, and the yeah. sound check went very poorly. Basically, we it was took, weird. It was the longest sound check we ever had. Yeah, tested each mic one by one, and then was like, was like had had us like swinging the mics in front of the speakers and stuff. Usually, this is all stuff that we don't have to deal with. Mm-hmm. Like testing the feedback and stuff like that, they all know how to do that because they're all professionals. Yeah, like you just, you wave it in front of the like reference monitors once and any other sound guy's like, yep, okay, boop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, Thanks, yeah. that's it. 
He's like, keep waving it. Keep waving it. It's just like, keep waving it. Okay, keep waving. Okay, so you want this mic on the whole time? And we're like, our mics? Yeah, that'd be great if they could be on the whole time. It's a, it's a comedy show. It's so a comedy show. Need so. to talk. <laughs> okay, so going to be on the whole time. Great, great. Okay, so just wave it. Wave it. And you it, keep waving it. The feedback is like piercing. It's like fucking everybody's ears. Yeah. And wave it. Could you wave it? <clears throat> Dude. So there's that. So whatever. We get the sound check done and we're like, okay, all right. That was painful, but we got through it. And then showtime, we gave him, you know, we give him the walkout song. And uh, he instead decides to play Keep Your Dick Fat. No, but first of all, it wasn't even that. It was, we were waiting to oh, yeah, go on yeah. stage. And yeah. Matt's like, you ready? And we're like, yeah. And he says, usually says we're ready. And then he signifies the sound guy. Sound guy plays the music. And so between that, between him saying, you ready? And us going on, usually about 30 seconds, okay? Maybe. So we're like, you know, we're ready. Mm-hmm. We're ready to fucking go on stage. So we're like, let's do it. Yeah. And in 20 seconds, we go on stage, right? So this time he goes, you ready? Yep. Signifies the sound guy. Nothing happens for like two minutes. What the fuck? Yeah. Matt's like, what is this guy doing? He goes, ready. Nothing happens for another like minute probably. Now we're like, okay, let's go. Like now people, now we're late. And finally, then- finally, we hear dimly in the background Keep your dick fat as playing. <laughs> We're just like <laughs> quietly too, like not even loud, just quietly, and the crowd starts singing it, and we're like, no, no. what, no, what is happening? No. Yeah, <laughs> keep your dick fat. Yeah, keep your dick. Fat. We're just like Gah. the least cool way ever Ugh. to come out to a show, and then abruptly he just plays the correct song at the same volume. Yeah. So then there's this weird transition where we walk out and everyone's like, keep your dick. Wait, what? What? What's and then we're on stage. Everyone's like, oh, yes. <laughs> so we're and, like, yeah, we're like, what the fuck? So we go really out there weird. and we're trying to, you know, you know, we're opening up the show and, you know. Oh, he doesn't stop the music, by yeah, the way. That's the other thing. Yeah, so he, we start talking to the crowd and he's just still playing the music. And normally when that happens, it's okay, maybe he didn't hear us. So we keep talking to the crowd. We keep talking to the crowd. Still doesn't stop playing the music. Tom had to come out and go, yeah, get it down. And the guy gets it down. And we're like, thank you. And I and I I said to him twice. I'm like, let's bring that music down, bro. Let's bring that music down. And he just didn't take the cue. I'm like, weird. So then, yeah. So there's that. And then so we start doing the show. And then we get to a certain part of our show uh, where we like to do a little song. And so I say, hey, bro, can you? Uh, we the song starts playing. I'm like, hey, turn that up, man. Like just to bring the energy up. And he turns it up, and we do the do the song, and it's fun. And then the song ends, and then this motherfucker gets on his mic, and he starts talking to us through the reference monitors in the weirdest, softest, weirdest voice, just like, "Yo, was that uh, was that was that loud enough? Did that was that loud enough for during the show?" The show. And like Cody and I are in the middle of talking, and then I just like I have like a weird. I think I'm going manic. <laughs> We're I'm both like, like, "What the fuck was that?" Yeah. And then I'm just like, I can't believe, and I turn around to our boy, Tom. I'm like, am I, am I crazy? <laughs> I say that to him. I'm like, am I crazy? And then, then Cody's like, is that no. good, boys? Yeah. Is that good? Is the song, was that the good volume for the song? <laughs> Sound like Zach, Hal- Zach yeah, Galvanakis. Yeah, yeah. Is that good, boys? Is that good, the volume for the song there? I was that good, boys? Sure. Is that a good level? I'm like, what the, f- what are you? Yeah. And then we realize it's him. And we're like, oh my God, this guy's. Just talking in the middle of our fucking set. It's a show. You can't just fucking just talk. I'm going crazy, and then like Cody like snaps me out of it. He's like, he's like, it's the fucking sound guy, and I'm like, what? I'm like, Cody, What's up, man? You got jokes? You want to do a yeah, set? Yeah, Cody's like, you want to come up here and do some shit? <laughs> and then, so then, there's that, and we do the show, and um, you know, people were asking us to roast cities, and I might have to roast Cleveland a little bit. Because that was a weird and hot-ass show, but some of y'all, I don't know if you have a pulse, man. <laughs> what does that mean? Like, some of these dudes were looking back at us like the fucking, like, the cows they raise, man. Like, they're just <laughs> sitting there staring, just chewing, just like. <laughs> the whole sh- the whole one hour I'm watching, I'm watching, I look at the crowd, I'm like, this fool has not moved. Like, the whole <laughs> show is just fucking. It's funny, too, because those are the dudes when you call them out. You go, you haven't laughed once. Are you having fun? They always go, yeah. <laughs> like, oh, hell yeah, man. Yeah, it's a great show. Yeah. 
Oh, great show. And then so you can you can express it <laughs> if then, you want. We can, they started chanting O H I O. Oh which yeah, was right. Just weird. We've not encountered that anywhere else. But it's it's so weird how fast it is. It's like O H O. Like immediately, immediately, it's like a reflex for them. Yeah. Oh wait, how? Like no time to fucking even. We don't even know what's going on. Yeah. People just kept doing it, and then it was just like a it was like a whack a mole thing where people like pop up. Oh wait, and they were like, oh, oh wait, oh, oh wait, oh. <laughs> I'm just like, how do you? <laughs> Sound guy goes, oh wait, over the yeah, over yeah, the mic. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there. Were, no, so, but like, what happened during the Q and A? <laughs> yeah. So then, yeah, I was gonna get, get next to. So during the Q and A. We're, we're talking to people, we're, you know, we're calling on people. It's a fun, like, interactive thing. And then the motherfucking sound guy takes his mic and just starts giving it to random people. Out of nowhere, we're, like, answering someone's question, and this fucking dad is just, like, on the mic. He's like, yeah, I got a question. I'm like, Whoa. And we're like, whoa, what the, f- where is this coming from now? And then Because it gets super loud right away. Yeah, and then he just starts, like, he asks us his question. It was a fair question. And then dude just starts passing this shit around to random people. And then Tom runs out there again, and he goes, Yo, no, just, not cool. <laughs> enough. Stop it. Stop it. Imagine, imagine that you're doing a comedy show where you're just supposed to have the only two mics, and all of a sudden now there's a third bonus mic that's drifting around the crowd. <laughs> imagine that. <laughs> just, just a magic. Do you want to turn? <laughs> yeah. Hi, Cindy. I'm from Cleveland. Um, I'm a dentist. I just had a question. So funny, man. This guy was so out of it. Yeah. He must have been wasted or something. Nah, he said, Tom talked to him and he's worked with him before. He's like, hey, man, how you doing? Da, 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 da. The guy's like, yeah, I remember you. I hurt my back recently. And then Tom's like, this dude's on pills. He's fucked up. Oh, yeah, okay. He's like, it's going to be bad. <laughs> it's going to be bad. <laughs> kind of a beast. Kind of a beast. Kind yeah. of like, kind of like respect the fact that he just doesn't give a shit enough to talk in the middle of someone's show. Yeah, pretty sad. That's kind of fucking savage. You yeah. got you need you need a you need a set of balls on you to do that. <laughs> steel balls, dude. You need a set of seal steel. That guy eats pussy for <laughs> sure. <laughs> He's eating too much pussy. <laughs> oh, yeah, he He's probably bored of it. Pussy after the show. <laughs> that dad's pussy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. He, <laughs> he probably ate dad pussy after yeah, the show. He's like bend over motherfucker. I'm going to eat <laughs> I this gave shit. you the mic. Right in front of Susan. Let me eat your fucking dad puss. Let me eat your dussy. Dussy? Mm-hmm. Let me eat that dussy. Let me get that teriyaki dad puss. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. But, you know, all around. Still a good show. We didn't get to it, talk. It, it was fine. Yeah, I mean, like, it was like a smaller show, so, like, wasn't, and it was kind of like a shit show anyway, so it wasn't that big of a deal. And it was that hot. This sound guy room. talked during it, like, Tom and Matt were fucking really mad afterwards, and I was like, it's, yeah, it's kind okay. of funny, man. Like, yeah. it's. It's a great story. This guy just doing him. Doesn't mm-hmm. give a fuck. No, it it, it it made for a great story. Yeah. So, I mean, shout out Mike the Sound Guy. It's, you know, still a good show. Every show's a good show. Uh-oh. Cody got to shit himself. Um, I don't think we got to talk about the Columbus show, right? Yeah, because we haven't, we haven't recorded since. The Columbus show, first of all, was awesome. <clears throat> that, was a, that was a top, that was a top fiver for sure. Yeah. Columbus was fucking special. Um, uh, I fucked up. I came out there and said Cleveland, but yeah, stop naming all your shit with C's, okay? <laughs> they right, weren't feeling that. No. But it was an awesome show, and uh, I'd want to highlight the fact that it was in a fucking Freemason temple. That shit looked, was scary as fuck. Creepy, man. I swear to God, in the green room, People- which was just this, this giant, like, banquet hall, Yeah. Um, there was a picture, a very, very small painting of an eye... Upside like, down. Upside down eye, like crying a triangle. It was like 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 the eye of illumination or some shit. It's like it's like a symbol for whatever. Oh, it is. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It means something, but yeah. it's just like small as fuck. Yeah, just uh, just super high on the wall. It was really weird. It just felt really culty in there. Because yeah. also the green room had like a small stage. Yeah. Which was like and the whole vibe in there was like some creepy Wes Anderson shit. Yeah. Um the the venue itself was like People were like, yeah, they do weddings there. I'm like, who the fuck is booking oh their wedding God. there? Scary ass. That's a scary <laughs> wedding. That's a scary wedding. The the balconies, like, these weird, like, opera balconies that looked really creepy. Just everything about it was just like, Ugh. Dude, getting married in a place with no natural light? Yeah. That's weird, right? Yeah, that's weird as fuck. 
Like even at a church, you get like the stained glass and you get mm-hmm. the light coming through. It, That's weird. But no, not all churches even fucking getting what are you, vampires. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, not ter- all churches have like even big glass windows, but they're at least lit properly. Yeah, that lighting was like it, it was it was, it was just bizarre, creepy. Dude. It was yeah. creepy. I fe- and and like you know, usually we've been using this small table to like host kind of like our mics and and the. Uh, our laptop and other shit, and they just came out with like this fucking like butcher table when we first got there. Like they brought that shit out, and like you could have killed someone on it. I was like, uh, yeah, we don't, we don't like. Mean. There's definitely blood stains yeah. on here. That's blood for sure. <laughs> yeah, the whole thing was just, man, man, oh man. We've, had, dude, we've just had some cool ass experiences though, man. Shout out to the Fillmore here in in Maryland. Yeah, big shout out to you guys. We we just we just got off stage. It was a good show. It was a great show. It was a good show, yeah. Great show. It was a good show. It was a lot of fun. Um, shout out to the Fillmore, though. This fucking venue is... This is the be- mo- most beautiful venue we've been to, for sure. This yeah. green room is, like, immaculate. Yeah. They gave us... They custom-made posters for us that are mm-hmm. awesome. Yeah. And gave them to us yep. as a gift. To like, And then, like, they took our posters and hang them up in here. They gave us a little a brick. Yeah, we, we sold it out, so we got to sign a brick on the wall next to, like, Lil Wayne and... Which is cool. Crazy, man. Um, Lil Wayne, Lil Baby, Suicide Boys are up there. Yeah, Suicide Boys are on our wall, which is fucking dope. It's so cool, man. Um, it's, The whole thing has been super surreal. Yeah. Just every... Man, I fucking... I don't want to stop. Like, I want to, like, do this shit every year. Yeah, I no, fucking, me too. This is so much fun. Same. And, 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 like, and I know we're sitting here talking about, like, some shows are top five and this and that. I mean, every show's a good show. I got to say it again. Like, yeah. you guys are so dope. The energy is always so cool. Yeah. Um. It's, like, crazy just how much of our shit you guys know. Like, some people come to VIP, and they're like, yo, I've been watching you guys since Vine. I know. I know. They've been watching us for, like, six, seven years, and it's it's fucking, I'm I'm going to say it, dude. It's it's humbling. Oh, Oh, yeah. It's (laughs) It's a vibe? Oh, (laughs) fuck. Sorry. It's kind of a fucking vibe. (laughs) (laughs) Nah, it's super humbling, man. Just Dude, when people, like, during the Q&A today, that kid that was like, yo, what happened to Spike? Which is like a reference from my old old <clears throat> vlogs. Yeah, that shit's crazy, man. Mm-hmm. Or I mean, I guess Vine is crazier. Vine is crazier because it's, it's like it's older. Yeah, if someone like stuck with us through Vine through mm-hmm. the transition mm-hmm. after, you know, I don't know. I think that's that definitely means something for sure. Yeah, it means a lot. It's, it's just it's oh man, it's crazy. Man. Yeah, I can't say I can't say it enough times that it's crazy. It is crazy. That's usually my phrase <laughs> on this podcast. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> that's every dude's phrase, though. Lady, ladies, when when your dude is, has told you that's crazy like five times in a row, he's checked the fuck out. <laughs> that uh, that's crazy. <laughs> it's good. It's it's great because it's like you can use it positively you or can negatively. Use it negatively. You can use it as a neutral thing. <laughs> that's crazy as a neutral thing. Yeah. That's crazy, man. That's crazy, man. Anyway, I got this cum in my ass. <laughs> 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 Yo, that's crazy, dude. That's crazy with Cody and Noel. Yeah, that's gonna be our rebrand, our new series. That's crazy. That's crazy. We man. just watch America's Funniest Home Videos. Whoa, that's crazy. That's crazy. You see that dog walking on his hind legs? That's crazy. <laughs> that's crazy. We should do that as like an Instagram sketch. Mm-hmm. That's some goofy ass mm-hmm. Instagram comedy, right? We should. It's a good idea. Damn, bro. Welcome to That's Crazy, where we watch shit that's crazy. <laughs> this kid eats shit in a sandbox. Yeah. That's crazy. I'm going to say 10 out of 10. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that just what that fucking <laughs> um, ridiculousness is? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> it's pretty much. Pretty yeah. much. No, you know you know, what we, we should do that for? <laughs> uh, so for my million subscriber video, I want to finally do the thing where we, where we shoot like 10, like 5 to 10 sketches. They're either really long or really short. And I'm just gonna pack it all in like a 12 minute video. Okay, that's gonna be the the million. That's my, a good idea. My million sub video. You're gonna start planning that soon. No, like right when we get back. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, we'll shoot that one. Yeah. We could put the fucking. Uh, it's all. It's, it's always the weekend's always too short. We could put that in there. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. We could hit a couple. Yeah, just a little bite sized sketches. Yeah, just small. What if like a like a you know like a six or seven second sketch? That should be an app, dude. <laughs> <laughs> And Samsung can put money into it. <laughs> it's gonna be really cool. Yeah, the uh, 
I'm so sure. What the fucking deal? What's the deal? What's the fucking deal? I was gonna pull some shit up. I can't. I, just, I can't believe it, man. I know it's been crazy. I just feel fucking good to be back on stage and out of that hotel room. Mm-hmm. God, there is nothing like being on stage, man. It's just, it's so dope. Mm-hmm. I love it. Felt good to uh, spend the day in the city yesterday. Yeah. Um, oh, we yeah. watched a game. Fucking boring ass game. <laughs> Do we even need to talk about the Super Bowl? Super oh, boring. You know. It's, it's, ooh. Got him. Super boring. Super balls. More, more, like, more like super bowel movement. <laughs> super turdy. <laughs> so what a super turd what that was. <laughs> Dude, you know what was crazy? <coughs> what's crazy? What's, you know what's crazy? What's crazy? The fucking, that radio show we were listening, did you, were you listening to music on, on our what? way to the bus? No, uh, yes. <laughs> Dude, there's this radio show where they're recapping the Super Bowl. Mm-hmm. It was the, like, talk radio. I know why podcasts, like, are the preferred medium. Oh, that's why I started listening to music. That I couldn't listen so to that. so fucking bad. I could not listen to that fucking shit, Who dude? listens to talk, ra- just, like, four random people. You have no idea who they are. They all talk for maybe two seconds. Yeah. They're like, so the Super Bowl was yesterday. And they had a great uh, commercial by um, this and that. And then they just roll the fucking commercial. Yeah. You're like, wait a second. Yeah. And they did that for the five commercials. Then after that... They started rolling clips of, I think you might have heard this one, of like Tony Romo like casting it. It was just like a, like fully replaying the audio of the Super Bowl. Yeah. I'm like, who? How is this, he- like, how is this entertainment? How is this helpful to anyone? That, that's what I'm saying. I was listening to that and I'm like, oh my God, dude. Oh my God. If you do this, <laughs> you're a sellout. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I know we read ads <laughs> <laughs> and I know we fucking do brand deals and I know we, you know, yeah, but- do meet and greets and stuff like that. But that, Man, that is providing nothing. Yeah. Nothing to society. There's yeah. no unique opinions there. There's nothing. No. 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 And, and I was and, like, oh my God, this is pure fucking just corporate garbage. Yeah. It's just a way to jam ads down people's throats. Yeah, because it literally had no opinions through the whole thing. Yeah. The 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 only one was like, uh man, what talk about a game. Talk about a game. That was it. <laughs> yeah. Literally it. Yeah. And then they're just and just random screaming and other shit. And I just, I couldn't believe that someone would sit there and listen to that whole. But I mean, you know, the same people probably look at us and they're like, tiny meat. So what are they talking about? Come in their ass? You know, <laughs> listen to that I'm shit. I'm saying we're changing the world. I'm just saying. No, I know. I know no, it's, it's definitely just some fucking. That, I was like, I can't believe this. Like, that, this is like <laughs> the radio version of morning television, I yeah. guess. But even like, I don't know, some bad. I've, I've listened to like. Ryan Seacrest in the morning, stuff like that. That's a good. That's a good program. Yeah, I you mean, know he's like original, and he, I mean, like at least people on his show and stuff like that, like are funny and have like opinions and stuff. Yeah, that was just like the bad, the bad morning show version of mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying. Like, mm-hmm. is your dog use the toilet when you're not home? <laughs> Find out coming out next. <laughs> and there's like some commercial for a fucking lawnmower or something. And you're like, oh my god. There's yeah, there's something weirdly corporate about it, and like the sound of the show is you can tell just off rip. You're like. Yeah, nobody has a brain. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. no one has a fucking pulse on this show. It's autopilot. They're just reading from cue cards. Mm-hmm. You you already know it. Yeah. It's always overly energetic. <coughs> yeah. Super positive and mm-hmm. just like, oh, man, it's today's, oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, 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 it's yeah, crazy. Right, nothing on bad, nothing bad on earth exists. <laughs> <laughs> oh, except maybe a crappy Super Bowl, but uh, what do you know? You can still get to see the family. <laughs> Yeah, good oh, buffalo dip. Yeah, <laughs> good old buffalo dip. My yeah. wife makes a great dip. Anyways, here's a commercial from Amazon. <laughs> it goes for fucking twenty minutes. Uh, that dog was so cute in that commercial, wasn't it? <laughs> oh my god, it's so cute in that commercial. Uh, he's like Doug the Pug. Speaking of which, Doug the Pug coming up next. Here's an ad for Instagram. Yeah, <laughs> here's an ad for Instagram. It's just bad, just bad, bad, bad. <laughs> you, you know some shit. This is just some random. Uh, <laughs> should we? Oh, you know what I want to talk about? What? The motherfucker, speaking of going around New York and being in the city, New York is dope. I never actually got to spend time there as an adult, so that was really cool. Yeah, yeah. New York's awesome. Yeah, great city. Um, It warmed up in the last, like, day and a half. Thank God, man. It finally, it feels like fucking paradise now. Yeah, 50 degrees feels yeah. awesome. Yeah. Walked outside with just a hoodie on. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mwah. Mwah. I'll never talk shit about L.A. ever again. Mm-hmm. Bro, I want to talk about uh that dude I put on my story. Who is like damn near dead in the bathroom, or her look? Oh yeah, what happened, bro? So okay, first up, uh, hanging with the homie Ben Khan. 
Okay. And uh, kicked it with Gabe Gundacker for mm-hmm. a little bit. Nice. Um, Did you go to the coin star? You know, it just wasn't working. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we were, uh, we had a good time. It was me, Alina, Gabe, and Ben. We were roasting the shit out of Ben. Okay. God, it's just, you know, it's personal stories, but holy shit, we were, we, the three of us were in tears. I mean, nice. Ben was laughing his ass off too, but we were, we were getting in his ass. Mm-hmm. We were getting on that were boy. Were you coming in it? Oh, we were coming in that boy. Good. Uh, good he walked good. away with a lot of roast cum. Okay, good. Anyway, so at some point, Ben and I are like, eh, we both got to piss. So we get up in line and we're going to wait and take a piss. <clears throat> and Ben walks into this bathroom. He like just, oh, he, what it was is he opens the door just to see if there's anyone in there because he really had to go. And the setup of the bathroom is really weird. First of all, it's super small. You open the door and right where the door like connects to the wall, there's the sink and then the urinal on an angled wall and then there's a small stall. Okay. So like whoever's pissing, their just dick is fully out. <laughs> and you can see it from the door? I mean, it's just like a weird, they're, they're having to like, like foosball that shit. Like they I keep love when like, they fuck up designs like that. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> just <laughs> rotating like. Dicks on, f- in full view of the whole restaurant? Yeah. And like, and whoever's in the stall can't leave until that guy's done because they just, <laughs> they walk right into him. So. That's awesome. So fucking hell yeah! Whoever that <laughs> engineer was, whoever that great job, dude. Yeah, uh, uh, fantastic job. Must have been using PHP. <laughs> <laughs> My wife loves PHP. <laughs> <laughs> uh, pretty horny penises. Exactly. Right. I don't know. So Ben opens the door, and this dude is just kind of like, "Hey, yo!" Like, um, don't look at my dick. My dick's out. Uh. So Ben opens the door and he pops out. He goes, "Oh my god!" And I'm like, "You see his dick?" He goes, "No, there's a dude." Like, it's just legs on the floor. <laughs> and everyone in the line, like, because the, the line for the women's bathroom is right next to us. So everyone in there is just like, in this hallway, we're like, what? Ben's like, yeah. It, this dude is like, like his face is like in the toilet. I don't know what the fuck. So the dude who is at the urinal walks out and he's just got, he just looks at us and he says, man, I don't know. And he just leaves. He didn't okay. want anything to do with it. Yeah. So Ben goes in there. And Ben starts talking to him. I, like as the door's closing, Ben's like, "Yo, are you good, man? Are you good?" And then I crack open the door, like to maybe be a good citizen. And Ben starts taking a piss, and the dude is standing up. Okay, his head's fully up above the stall. Okay, and then Ben, as he's taking his dick out, looks back at me, and he's just like, mm. "Okay." So whatever, waiting there. A little time goes by. I crack the door open <laughs> again, just out of curiosity. Ben is fucking pissing like he's got his back turned to me he's pissing but he's looking back now at me and he's laughing and I look at the floor the dude's back on the floor his legs are just popping out of the stall and I'm thinking yo what he was literally it was like some exorcist shit like he just was standing a second ago and then now he's back on the floor and both of his feet you can't see it from that picture I posted are fully out of the stall so he's just lying on the ground it looked like I, I like didn't cur- like huddling around the toilet or what? So I didn't know the depth of the stall. So I don't like from my view, like his head had like plummeted into the fucking flusher. Like this dude was got in a fight with the toilet. He's done. <laughs> and Ben's just like cackling like, holy <laughs> shit. So the, like the piece of shit I am, I pull out my phone to take a picture. Yeah. I'm just fully that shitty fake woke image. Like mm-hmm. that dude, like, yeah, I got to get it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. As I'm doing that, this girl comes out of the, uh, the women's bathroom and it's like right in my face and she's like is that guy still on the floor and I'm like don't fucking come in here with your mom good Samaritan shit uh-huh. let me be a boy and uh-huh. have my fun uh-huh. I'm like uh yeah I think so and she's like is someone gonna help him I'm like someone probably should <laughs> and you know, looking back at her like it's not, not gonna, gonna be, be me yeah she's like okay I'm like yeah you should probably tell somebody what the what the deal is because I'm not going to. <laughs> so she like angrily kind of walks away. And uh, so I'm like, you know, I get a I get a picture of it, but like it's not good. So I close it and Ben finishes a piss. And then I reality kind of hits me a little bit. And I said, man, I don't know about all this. I'm going to just let the, I'll, I'll come back. Okay. It, it was funny because as Ben walked out and I opened the door, I saw his feet and the guy behind me saw his feet. And we both looked at each other and we both like clapped our hands simultaneously. And we're like, yeah, we're good. We both said that at the same time. And we both walked away. We're like, nah, it's fine. And this other dude's like, I'm going there. I don't give a fuck. So as we're walking out, the paramedics are coming into the bar. I'm like, oh shit. 
it's fucked up that I'm laughing. This dude's dead. <clears throat> so they go in there, and then lo and behold, this dude is like coming out the bathroom with his friend supporting him, and he's conscious. He's fully conscious. Okay. Now Ben spotted some people earlier smoking weed and drinking, and Ben's like, "Bet you that dude." Yeah, yeah. It's like, probably the spins. Yeah, yeah. He's probably got the spins. Yeah. So that's what that shit does, man. Yeah. Smoke weed and drink. Nah, it's, at least me. I, just, a, I wind up hugging the toilet. That's what I did. No, the it's very a bad first move. Yeah. Always a bad move. Yep. So they get him out there, and he's on the sidewalk. And uh, we don't know this. We're kind of wrapping up. We're hanging out. and Actually, no. After that point, I think we hung out for like another good 30, 40 minutes. Okay. In the bathroom? Yeah, in the bathroom. Okay. No. Cool. Now we're back at our booth. And, okay. And, I'm, and I say, well, man, I'm kind of hungry. And Ben's like, I'm hungry too. So we decided to go to Joe's Pizza. By the way, awesome. Yeah. Is it good? It's great. Marcus tells me about that place all the time. It's great sloppy pizza. Yeah. It's great. So we walk out and this dude is like, dude, he looks like a gargoyle. Like how arched his back is. Or no, he's like he's like this. And his friends are supporting him. And I and I think to myself, this man is fucked up. But he's alive. So I'm gonna post that picture. <laughs> 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 and as we're leaving, at some point they move him to the wall by the bar and like he's like sat down and they're keeping him propped up and he's just like <gasps> like oh, he, like no. you know it's about to come out and I'm thinking ooh and so we decided to skip ooh. yeah ooh. we skipped the fuck out of there this is the part that kind of fucked me up though is there were paramed so we hear paramedics like two three blocks down and you know New York is just no one can move their car anywhere mm. and this paramedic is just stuck behind all these cars and I'm thinking, yo, if, if that's for that dude, it's going to be like 15 minutes just to get down the four blocks. Yeah, I to... know. How did... That's crazy. The, the paramedic. That's, that's, that's crazy. crazy. <laughs> the paramedic just starts getting on the, the siren like, man, man, like move, motherfucker. People move? Everyone's like, where do you want us to go? It's just like some shit, something stuck all the way up that's there. That's scary. Scary as fuck. You could just fucking die. Yeah. So I think they started changing lights because like cars started to move. Gotcha. But it, I just, man. It, that's some scary ass shit. I would, God forbid, I ever be in a hotel, you know, on the floor of a bathroom. Yeah, with my and someone's Instagram in my feet. Yeah, everyone thought that was you because of his shoes. <laughs> <laughs> his shoes were pretty fucking bad. Yeah, his shoes were pretty. I wear good shoes now. Yeah, no, you you leveled up. These are new. These are dope. <laughs> oh, you just gonna flex? Wow. Yeah, they got the comme des garçons. Garçon. Comme des garçons. Come, come de garçon. That's come, what a French dude comes in your ass. Yeah. Come to ass, son. Uh, I got a piss, man. Yeah? Well, we got, I mean, we we wrap it up in a second. I do want to end it on Sicko Fest. Okay. I'm obsessed with this idea. Why? Did I tell you what I want to do? What? Okay, so first off, not my concept. Okay. This is a genius concept, by the way. It's uh, just a party called Sicko Fest. That's no, all it is. No, dude. You don't have all the materials. <laughs> so uh, our boy Tom, I'm going to just I'm gonna call his buddy Jay. I don't want to dox him. I don't know how much of this he wants okay. out in the world. So his buddy Jay, some time ago in Philly, used to just host a party that he called Sicko Fest. Yeah. And he got the name from this movie. And um, that's dope. It's called It's Sicko the Clown. Oh my God, that's sick. So if you look up It's Sicko the Clown, there's like some poster art that's super creepy. And he had, they had a buddy that worked at Canon and they had him blow it up. And that was like a big poster when you walked in. So like his thing was like he just put on these parties and people would pay like 30 bucks and it was all you could drink for a few hours. And then everyone else, then after that, you had to buy drinks. And just the point was like just, just to get super fucked up. Mm. So <clears throat> I've been thinking, you know, I'm hitting that big number this year. The one that hurts. Millie? No, oh, my birthday. oh, your birthday, K. Yeah. Yeah, my birthday. The number that You're turning hurts. a million years old? Turn a million years old. Wow. So I'm I you know, I've been racking my brain. I gotta do something. I gotta do something crazy. I gotta do something big. I gotta do something wild. And then I go, oh <laughs> I'm gonna bring back sicko fest. <laughs> okay. So what I wanna do is I wanna find a shitty bar and I wanna get an amateur monster truck. And I want that to be the piece outside the bar. <laughs> and if I could pull this off, I want to get a vinyl wrap that says Sicko Fest 2019. <laughs> That's sick. Yeah. And I want to. And so then we're talking with Jimmy. <laughs> whatever. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. We're talking with Jimmy. And uh, 
I said, well, I want to put him in a mink coat in a special booth and we're going to get like a painting. Have him sitting in the monster truck. Or that too. <laughs> yeah, just to kick it off. Yeah. Like, Is and, there a dude in there? <laughs> and we're going to like create this myth out of him. Like he's the Don of Sicko Fest. Yeah, and you can't look him right in the eye. Yeah. And I thought what would be really funny is like I invite all my friends and they get the backstory, but then we open it up to the public for only like 20 people. So it's just 20 random people being like, yo, I went to this shit called Sicko Fest. They had a monster truck. It was fucked up. They had green slushy drinks all night. It was crazy in there. It's got to be crazy. Like people got to get really fucked up. You have to like, you have to like, it has to have some sort of pretense that this is a party where you have to get fucked up. You got to go to sicko mode. Yeah. Sicko mode. Yeah. You got to play sicko mode n- nonstop all night. all night. And then I thought I want Spock to DJ. I want him to create like some crazy like EDM banger. And that's like sicko mode. Yeah. Yeah. Or it's all organs. Yeah. <laughs> or like either heavy ass dubstep to set it off. And I just want that crazy like European voice to come in. Welcome. <laughs> To sicko mode. <laughs> to sicko mode. Or to sicko fest. <laughs> Welcome <laughs> to sicko fest. <laughs> Everyone's like, yeah. Oh, like hard style? Yeah, just crazy. Yeah. Everyone's just, dun, 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 dun. <laughs> <laughs> Bass. <laughs> Welcome. Please enjoy your stay at sicko fest. <laughs> He's got to be Spanish. That's so... Uh, I don't know. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> You're gonna the dank weed, bro, is hitting you. So yeah, whatever. Um, however, this comes to fruition, I I think that's the way to go out, dude. With like a with with sicko fest. Make it sound like you're gonna die. I mean, you end it at thirty. <sighs> that can be the last birthday. Oh fuck that number, bro. Mm. We not saying that no more. Sorry, it's a million. No, I'm twenty nine nine. <laughs> <laughs> 29 2. We're doing new 29 3. Cra- yeah, we're doing crazy math where you mm-hmm. add it at, at the end. Like yeah, I'm 29 1, baby. 29 1. That's fucked up, dude. Yeah, sicko fest. Do it, man. I'm all there. Yeah. I think that's. <laughs> that's even close. Did you see that? <laughs> yeah. Reaching for my bottle. <laughs> over here. Yeah. What the fuck? I'm like, I'm nothing even in here. I just needed a distraction. I have to piss. Yeah. Well, yo. Um. We deep in it. Uh. What? What? what Damn, bus call is 2.30 a.m. I got to go smash some food so I can take this antibiotic. Word. Um, I'm fucking trying to edit. Are you? You should do that on the on the way over. I don't, I don't know. Maybe maybe not. We'll see. Come on, let's get a little Dave and Buster's in, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. D&B. That's yeah, what we should do. Yeah, D&B. we need... Noel and I like to play Dance Dance Revolution now. Yeah, I'm just kidding. Dave I mean, <laughs> that's not a thing that we do. <laughs> that's fucking crazy we and, and sus, dude. About, we wouldn't do that I shit. I know. That's, yeah. Wait. Can we end it on this, though? It's so funny when people ask us at the shows, do y'all hate each other? I know. Like, yes. Yeah. We fucking want to kill each other. Of course. <laughs> or when people are like, have you kissed yet? Dude, we fuck all the time. All the time. <laughs> people are like, don't break up. This one, this one girl said, don't break up after the tour. What we're, a weird, like, yeah. what do you mean? That wasn't even we're a not, thought like, in our in minds. Our, now that's in our minds. Yeah. Now we're going to look each other in the eyes on accident and be like, <laughs> dude. <laughs> no, but I like just like the don't like don't stop. Like she was like basically like don't stop making content together after the tour. Mm-hmm. Like she just knew it was going to like destroy our friendship. Yeah. Like no. what? No. This like. I really don't feel like. Apart from the days where we're doing like seven shows in a row. It's pretty fucking normal. Yeah. And now that our girl- girlfriends like come and visit us, it's like we just. Spend time with them when they're here. Yeah. It's yeah. just, you know, whatever. So, um, two episodes this week. Uh, Thank you guys for watching. Yeah. And uh, sorry about the sickness and everything. We're trying to get back into things. And you know what? We're going to try to, like... New video. New yep. new Love Island just posted, so watch that. Peep that. We're going to try to get some bonus episodes in. Because now... So, what it is now, the drives are shorter. We got time. Um, we're, It's only, like, a few hours to cities, and we got lots of time to chill. So... So, uh, tmgpod.com for merch. New merch coming out very soon. We're yeah. just finalizing designs. It's and then the sick. tour merch is going to be up eventually, too. So, um, yeah, eventually. Keep an eye out for that. And, uh, well, it's, it's what's left over. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. If there is any left over. Yeah. So, thank you guys so much. <laughs> and we will see you in a few days. <laughs>